Good day everyone. Welcome to PE2, Dual and Individual Sport. Our topic for this day is all about Arnis, known as the Filipino Martial Arts. We have the objective. Under the objective, we have content standard, performance standard, and learning competency. Under content standard, the learners understand the importance of Arnis and demonstrate basic execution in Arnis. Under performance standard, the learners memorize all facilities and equipment and all execution used in ARNIS. Then under learning competency, at the end of the lesson, students are expected to identify different facilities and equipment used in ARNIS, observe proper execution of ARNIS, understand importance of ARNIS, and execute basic Stances, blocking technique, and strike used in arnis. Our topic for this day is all about arnis. Under arnis, we'll take up history of arnis, facilities and equipments, striking and blocking techniques, basic stances, six blocking techniques, single cane blocks, and double cane movement. So later on, I will show you some simple video presentation about striking and blocking techniques, basic stances, six blocking techniques, and double cane movement. Before we go on to our topic, let us now know the background and purpose of Arnis. So first, the term Arnis refers to the Filipino martial arts. This can be played by two people using a wooden stick that serves as a weapon. Mastering Arnis requires extensive and attention-focused training from its basic stance to complex skills. Arnis is very good weapon of self-defense through striking and blocking the opponent. This can also be a good fitness program in maintaining good health. On December 11, 2009, Arnis was declared as the National Martial Art and Sport of the Philippines under Republic Act No. 9850. This, the following section of the Philippine Act, emphasizes Arnis as the national sport and also making the Department of Education, National Commission for Culture and Art, and Philippine Sports Commission actively involved in making Arnis a great sport. Section 3, Arnis is at this moment declared as the Philippine National Martial Art and Sport. The official adaptation of Arnis as the National Martial Art and Sport shall be promulgated by inscribing the symbol of Arnis in the official seal of the seal of the Philippine Sport Commission and making it is the first sport competition to be played by participating teams in the first day, in the annual Palarong Pabansa, the Philippine Sports Commission shall be the lead agency to implement provision of this act. Section 4, the Department of Education, the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, and the Philippine Sports Commission shall promulgate the necessary rules and regulation to carry out the provision of the act. Long before the traders from China, migrants from the neighboring countries, or even colonizers stop foot to the Philippine land. The country has already astonishing culture and history that define its talent. In various parts, one of which is the art of self-defense and survival. Arnis was called Kali, Iskrima, was developed by the native people as part of survival system for combat and even self-defense. The proof of its early presence can be traced back long ago when Filipinos used to fight during the inter-tribal warfare. Arnis is a system of fighting using bladed weapons common among Maharlikas and other royalties. The pioneers and experts of this art were the Rahas and royalties of Visayan and Tagalog regions, the Amandakwan of Pangasinan, and the Bunawang of Cagayan area. In Central Luzon, it is called Gilas. In the Visayas and Central Philippines, it is called Kali, 
Baston, Iskrima, and Garote in Bindanao. It called Kuntao and Sinawali in Pangasinan. Historians believe that Kali might have been originated from Indonesian fencing art and techniques similar to Kali Tijakahelele. Historical records reveal that about 200 BC Indonesia as a part of the kingdom of Sri Visayan and Majahapit which is also ruled the Philippines. During the 13th century, the presence of the ten dates or ten masters coming from Borneo who comes to the island of the Panay in the central Philippines was possibly part of the school curriculum as the school taught Kali to students called Buddha. During the 16th century, Dark Age period of Kali happened. Kali was outlawed by Spanish rules as one of the precautionary measures taken to discourage enslaved people from raising a revolt against the oppressors. Early Filipinos still practiced Kali in secrecy or disguised as ceremonial dance and plays. In the year 1873, the name Arnes was adopted derived from Spanish term arms. Today, Arnes is getting its popularity in the use of cane which is less dangerous than bladed weapons. The cane is an extension of the hand, hence called Arnis de Mano. Contrary to the idea that without a stick, Arnis is defenseless is entirely wrong. Next, we have the facilities and the equipment. Under facilities and equipment, we have wooden stick, replica of bladed weapon, replica of dagger or knife, head protector, body protector, forearm and shin guards, uniform, white shirt, red pants and white rubber shoes, scoreboard, scorecards and flag, and the competition area. The wooden stick, standard arnis wooden stick measures 27 to 30 inches long with a diameter of approximately 1 inch. Stick which are padded are used for full contact competition and non-padded sticks are for everyone. Replica of bladed weapon. This is made of wood and must not have sharp edges or pointed ends. Next, we have replica of dagger or knife. This shall be made of wood. It must not have pointed ends and sharp edges. It measures not more than 60 cm in full length. Next, we have head protector. A pair of protective head gears that includes an impact worthy face mask. Both must have color coded red and blue to match the color of the padded stick of the players. Next, we have body protector, a protective body gear properly cautioned. Next, we have forearm and shin guards. The wearing of this equipment is compulsory. Both must be color-coded. Next, we have uniform. Basic uniforms worn by the players or the student in our knees are white t-shirt, red pants, and white rubber shoes. Next, we have a scoreboard. It's either electronic operated or manual operated scoreboard. Next, we have scorecards and flags. The scorecard is measured 12 by 8 inches and it's used by the judges to indicate a player's score. Flags are measured 30 cm by 25 cm. Red flag used judges in declaring decision while yellow or blue flag used by the timers to signal the start and end of every round and also declared time out and continuation of the game. And the last, the competition area. The playing area is a square measured 8.0 meters by 8.0 meters with 2 meters minimum free zone about it and a clear space without any obstruction up to a height or not less than 5 meters from the playing surface. Next is striking and blocking technique. At the end of this presentation, I have simple video presentation about striking and blocking technique. The next, we have 12 striking technique using single cane. First, we have left temple strike. So, tatamaan to sa kaliwang sintido. 
Next, right temple strike. Tatamaan to sa kanang sintido. Next, left elbow strike. Kaliwang balikat. Right elbow strike. Kanang balikat. Stomach thrust. Chan. Left chest thrust. Kaliwang dibdib. Right chest thrust. Kanang dibdib. Right knee. Kanang tuhod. Left knee. Kaliwang tuhod. Left eye thrust. Kaliwang mata. Right eye thrust. Kanang mata. And the last is the crown strike or head. Or sa ulo. That is the 12 striking technique using single cane. Next, we have basic stances. Basic stances shows the balance which is fundamental ground in playing arnis. So first, we have formal stance, open leg stance, straddle stance, forward stance, back stance, cut stance, and grapevine cross stance. Next, we have six blocking techniques using single cane. First, we have inward block. This type blocks all the strikes or thrust coming from the left. Second, outward block. This type blocks all the strike or thrust coming from the right. Downward, outward block. This type blocks all the strikes or thrust coming from the right, especially blocking the right knee. Downward, inward block. This type blocks all the strikes or thrust coming from the right, especially blocking the left knee. Upward rising block. This block is used when blocking the head. Vertical block. This type is effective when blocking the stomach. Next and the last, double cane movement. First, we have redonda. Redonda means circular movement. It emphasizes in a circular blade action in a vertical direction aim at the center line of the body. The next, we have Sinawali. Sinawali shows an interwoven or waving pattern of movement. The emphasis of Sinawali is a full extension or strike and full withdrawal for maximum power. This is my simple video presentation of blocking and striking technique in Arnis. Hope you enjoy watching.